The leader of a veteran support group watching tonight's vice presidential debate was hoping to hear tangible plans about looking out for active and former members of the military. Well, not much was said in the first presidential debate, and tonight it seems that veterans weren't mentioned at all. WMAR 2 News Eddie Kadem sat down virtually with a veteran to talk about the push to make their voices heard. Eddie? Nearly half of all veterans aren't affiliated with the VA or any other veterans organization. Garrett Cathcart is the executive director with Mission Roll Call. The nonprofit's mission is to connect veterans. Uh, educate them on policy issues and then inform uh, policymakers like congressmen and senators on, uh, on what the veterans are saying, right? So it's kind of a new model for policy. He says Senate Bill 785 or the Commander John Scott Hannon Mental Health Care Improvement Act is a big step in the right direction. It expands mental health care in the VA. Uh, but one of the biggest things it does as well is it appropriates money uh, from the government to local nonprofits, right? You can apply for a grant and, you know, better nonprofits in the community we've seen. You know, no one knows their veterans better than the, the community itself, right? We saw a lot of yelling and name calling in the first presidential debate and not a lot of policy talks about veterans. Cathcart wants to hear the candidates talk about plans for the VA and access to health care. It would just be validate a lot of veterans and their families and current service members to hear in the presidential debate or vice presidential debate uh, the issue of veterans in any capacity, mental health or otherwise, to be spoken about. Veterans are one and a half times more likely to complete suicide than other citizens, a number that's climbing during the pandemic. Cathcart knows how difficult it is to deal with the demons that vets face when they come home from war. The Straits of Baghdad during the surge in 06, which is, which is a hard year. I mean, that's probably... I'm being honest, the reason I do a lot of this work, um, a lot of folks hurt and kill. It was the most violent year of the war. My commander, a lot of my soldiers, my best friend. He says it's important to combat isolation by checking on veterans and building them up. It's something he didn't see from either candidate in the first debate. With Biden attacking President Trump over alleged comments about the military and the president going after the military record of Biden's son. American public uh perceives veterans predominantly as broken and victims right um and so why would folks join the military if you think when you when you leave service that you're, you're not going to be as better off i i'm a big fan of this concept of post-traumatic growth where you can go through hard and difficult things and then come out the other side and be stronger for it cathcart says one of the most important things veterans can do for themselves listen research and vote you signed up to defend the constitution you def you have defended this democracy you should probably go to participate in it, right? And he's asking for those vying for the role of commander in chief to fight for the men and women who defend our country. In Baltimore, Eddie Kadem, WMAR 2 News. And there are ways that you can support Mission Roll Call. To learn more about the group and the work Cathcart is doing to help other veterans, check out this story on our website right now at WMAR2news.com.